future architecture platform is uh, bigger in terms of number of uh, member organizations. Now there are 20. The difference is also that the program now also includes an open call for members, uh, which was for the first time open th last year. It's really good to see that the platform uh, is developing in a key networking and exchange network or, or place where really all key institutions that are dealing with architecture in Europe in connection with emerging uh, generations particularly are coming together with their programs. There is something very, very important about bringing people together physically. And that's what's happening now at the uh, Museum of Architecture and Design in Ljubljana. That's what the Future Architecture Platform is about. But it's also about dissemination. So this combination of exchange and dissemination, or you could also say communication of ideas, uh, is central. And we need to somehow, I think, protect and preserve that. It's interesting to receive this uh, feedback, uh, how important it is that one of the centre of the debates about architecture moved from the traditional uh, centres where architecture is debated about uh, uh, from, let's say, centres that run important schools or have important architectural institutions like uh, London, Paris, Berlin and uh, Eastern Europe in that sense and, and Southwestern Europe were, were a blank territory in this sense and uh, Slovenia and Ljubljana is now becoming one of uh, those centres where the relevant discussions about architecture are going on. As the youngsters are not maybe published, they are not maybe online, it's, it's good, this platform is really good to come and meet them, hear them and then also uh, start uh, the uh, conversation. Uh, one new member every year uh, will respond to the need to use the platform or understand this platform not all, only to, pro, to promote or to support young creatives, but also to create a network in which institutions can work together. So inviting more and more members can make this uh, network grow and open the possibilities for more collaborations and in that way also to promote better and most uh, the projects of the students. And I think the other side of it, um, besides uh, meeting the newcomers, is also the fact that this, uh, this member board that we, we were just uh, chatting with, it's, it's quite amazing. This is, this is, I would consider literally uh, Europe's, uh, the heart of uh, Biennales, architecture centers, uh, awards, award members, etc. I went to quite a few different locations. Um, I went to Lisbon, to Kosovo and also to Graz and did different types of events and activities there from uh, exhibitions to workshops, leading workshops and then also um, doing a lot of sort of talks and panel discussions. Um, and so I feel like I'm, I have quite a good idea about the platform from the participant side and now I'm getting to learn like uh, getting to know the other side. We used today to kind of ask people and see how they were advertising the event and I think that's something quite interesting because it's very different, you know, each country ha kind of has a different strategy mm -hmm. and I think it reflects in the number and quality of interest that we get. So if that's, that's just my personal sort of interest and focus on the advisory board but of course together with all the other members we're discussing broader issues and all, all the different topics that are pertaining to the platform. Anyone who does something interesting in the field of architecture is invited to come and uh, he can participate. Either as an institution, he can become a member, either as a participant, uh, he can uh, send his projects. But also, if they are not getting act actively involved in the first stage, let, that's uh, a true present presentations of the selected uh, professionals that make the conference. They can present their work at the architecture fair or they can participate at the short uh, evening presentations on the platform. We're really young uh, um, um, architectural event so I'm uh, really hoping to uh, meet many interesting people and uh, maybe even to have opportunity to collaborate uh, in the future. Future architecture is of course a great title, but also um, a challenge, um, um, an intellectual challenge. 
the term future is very easily used by many, many people, but what do we actually mean by future? Um, uh, I would say that under neoliberal conditions uh, there is not uh, a purely futuristic project of architecture or whatever possible. We all talk about the contemporary, about the now, but never about the future, of a better future. From the beginning, uh, the participants that debate about architecture are very political and are very strongly uh, addressing the responsibilities of architecture towards society. In uh, this sense, this year it was very interesting to talk about how to fight ourselves, uh, how to, uh, within the profession of architecture, address the norms and the habits and the, the standards, the concepts uh, that we are used to and that we should get rid of. Once you have trust, amazing things can happen. But you need to have that physical connection uh, to be able to begin something that is bigger than yourselves. I have uh, not been uh, part or haven't even heard about something similar and something that's uh, fruitful in Europe as the Future Architecture Platform. People have realized that this network is also a, a good platform not only to build or to produce, but also to think really what is what can be this possible future of architecture? It takes courage, actually, to simply kill something uh, that is on, on your way uh, if you want to move forward.